Hi, I'm John Kennedy from SiliconRepublic.com and today we're going to be looking at the new HTC Flyer. This is the HTC Flyer. Uh, it's been a while coming and we've been all expecting it and it arrived. Uh, first observations on it, well, first thing, first time, I'm, I'm, so, I'm such a, an avid iPad user that uh, if you're used to the iPad, you sense you do get a certain snobbery, I think, around anything that's maybe smaller or that just isn't iPad. And that's why many people are still, the jury's still out on whether Android-based tablets will succeed. Um, some research I've read recently has said the same effect will happen as with Android phones. Eventually they will maybe potentially surpass the iPad. Uh, so here is one of these uh, potential devices that will surpass, who, who knows. The camera is interestingly on the side here, which again, to me, I read as a statement of intent from HTC because I think they're into all things cinematic and shareable. And I think from that point of view, I think uh, there is a kind of a statement of intent there. So it actually does make more sense to try and grip a camera uh, this way if you're taking a picture. Um, just to show you the back, again, it shows you great engineering, um, again, great material and industrial design. Uh, kind of a sumptuous material here. I, 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 I li really, really like the design here. It's a, it feels like a, a complete device. Um, it's not sterile or anything. It's, it's quite uh, well designed. So speakers are here, cameras here. Uh, this kind of plastic material here, but this is metal here. Great attention to detail. Speakers are here, cameras here. Uh, I do think that you know if you are uh, maybe taking photographs, you will probably hold a device this way, and you will if you are doing a video conference call, hold it with two hands. So putting a camera maybe on top of a device like some have done, uh, maybe it's not so clever. So let's turn it on, and here we are. We're inside. It, it's very similar to the HTC Sensation or Desire or any of these devices that are running um, Gingerbread Android Gingerbread uh, operating system. Uh, very clever stuff, but the main thing, the main differentiator about this tablet that makes it so different to others is the fact that it actually comes with a stylus. Okay, let's uh, let's have a look at the, the what why the why the pen matters. So here we have the writing application. So I'll go to um, this notebook application they have, and so you can you can just write your notes. if you want, and uh, so you'd be scribbling away, but this is where it gets really clever, I'll show you now. You could be on the interweb, and you want to see something. Uh, so here we are on Google's web page, and I'm feeling bold, so um, I'll just uh, do the pen application here, and I'm going to do, do Google on, or doodle, doodle on Google, uh, so I'm just gonna, I'm feeling bold, so let's rub that out, and write bold there. And it uh, could be, um, changing the notes. Maybe I want to make observations about Google's uh, homepage, so I could be pointing things out. I want to change the... I want to maybe highlight something here. So it's really clever stuff, but where it gets really clever then is that if you're taking notes, you can then... Um, so you can share that, obviously, but let's go back to save this to my notes. So it goes straight into my little notebook here, and I'll get back to writing what I think. So all about Google. So there's there's just an example of the of the of the pen, and there's some really clever stuff as well. Like you can uh, rub out stuff by just pressing the button here. You can uh, highlight stuff if you want, or you can highlight text. Uh, so it's really clever. Um, this is something I haven't seen, but there is one little flaw that's really driving me crazy about this is they've gone and created a great tablet and a great pen, but unfortunately um, you would think most tablet computers would have a place where you could store the pen, but there unfortunately there doesn't seem to be a location for it at all. So, uh, But back to the tablet, I mean... Many of the tablets we've seen on the market so far have been um, 
you know, either devices made by companies like Apple that have made, that have been really well thought out. And then other people have come along and made tablets just for sake of making tablets and throwed, have thrown um, Android operating system on top of it and done nothing else. Uh, I, I get the feeling in, in HTC's typical manner, it has uh, done its homework. So let's just go to the, the reader application. Uh, so here you have all your books. You're reading Tale of Two Cities, Bram Stoker, Jane Eyre, Art of War, if you're into that kind of thing, uh, Jules Verne. So these are just an example uh, of, of basically the, uh, the, kind of, the kind of presentation of the book. So this is J Jack London's uh, eponymous book, White Fang. So uh, again, the design of the text is made perfectly to suit a 7-inch uh, tablet device. So as you can see, it's very good. Um, you can make bookmarks, annotations, change the font size. So let's go small just to see how it changes. And now I wonder if I use the pen to highlight a part of that text and see. No, it doesn't work. Oh, uh, I thought it worked. I'm running out of ink. Oh, here it is. Yep, I was able to highlight text there. So uh, as you can see, I haven't perfected it, but it is possible even to be reading books. The pen does integrate with the reading applications. Um, so before we go, I'll have another look at some of the other uh, services on it. Um, very similar actually to Photoboot from um, the Apple's stable, but they have on the HTC device, they have Snap Booth, um, which has uh, its camera application. Um, so this is a really clever little thing. You can probably see the camera there. And you can change different styles of image. and take a picture. So again, some really clever camera apps on it. Uh, so there you have it, uh, the HTC Flyer. Uh, it's, it, it's got a good feel about it actually. It's, um, it feels kind of solid in your hands as opposed to, uh, I suppose that's down to the good casing that's on it. It's very well, well engineered. So uh, again, it'll be very interesting to see how this device takes off, but uh, you can certainly tell that they've done their homework on it.